Hello and welcome to That London Life, countryside edition. I've come away from London on vacation. I'm staying at this place here, a converted barn, and it's stunning. So I thought, why not do a house tour? Because what do we love on this channel? House tours and history walks. But this is a house tour. I try not to caveat videos that I make, but I am going to caveat this one with, please bear with me. It's been a long time since I've been able to make a video. This is also on my phone. Who knows? All is well. But here we are, we have the barn. This entire thing is what we are renting for this week. Uh, it's myself, my sister and my parents. There are four bedrooms, lounge, games room, amazing kitchen, and a special feature that's actually out here, which I'm already gonna spoil, but wait till you see the master bedroom. It's crazy. <laughs> Running down my little hill, we come to this patio, outdoor seating, lots of benches. Clearly this is a place that is definitely made for quite a few people. There is just four of us, but it does come with a barbecue and it is pretty nice. It's a small holding, I think she called it. So basically like a mini working farm, there are animals, some of which I can already see, but apparently they just sort of wander up and down. So we may see them a little bit more closely than we are currently. But I'm currently now on the patio, no pool, but this is okay because there is a secret thing. But yes, this is where I'm planning to get a bit more vitamin D. I think I'm pretty deficient after eight months inside. So we'll attempt to get that right here. But this is also one of the features of the house. So a little gazebo, do you call this? A little outdoor standalone conservatory. Let's go inside. Do you want to see me or do you want to see the conservatory? I think we want to see the conservatory. So the plan is very much to come in here and eat some breakfast while we are here. It's very warm. It's kind of like a greenhouse. But I think once you uh, open a few windows, open the door, that'll all come out. But look how amazing it is. Okay, I'm gonna give away one of the amazing features of this property already, because I am saving that master bedroom for later. But this was one of the reasons we wanted this place. We wanted to get a hot tub. <laughs> uh, it's probably on the side of too cool for a pool right now in the UK. We're at about 20 degrees Celsius. Lots of pools are not actually heated here. So the hot tub seemed to be a great way forward. So it's a big open space. I'll insert a clip now because you can turn on some lights and at night I bet it's very pretty. So when we were selecting places, we actually ticked hot tub as one of our requirements. We don't usually go for a place with a hot tub. It's not really our style, but it seemed necessary. We're trying to enjoy the outdoors as much as possible. So let's now move inside the barn. I mean, I love the glass in this place. It's super cool. And I love all the beams and all the wood. So this that I'm entering now is the kitchen diner area. Did I say kitchen? I can't tell. Breakfast bar, dining table, has an arger, which we've been kind of taught how to use. And apparently an arger is on all the time and is a fixed temperature, who knew? But it is very warm in this room because of the arger always being on. So I can imagine that in the winter months, this place must be absolutely amazing and you'll just spend all your time in the kitchen because it is very warm. <laughs> but it is so beautiful. It definitely has those farm vibes, doesn't it? Like a barn, converted barn. Now I'm moving through into the utilities room just because it's another room in the house. You might as well show it. So here we go. Here it is. Uh, cupboards for storage, a downstairs loo and washing machines and microwave. Very exciting. I know this was the content you came here to see, but literally like I love these brick walls. Look how cool everything is and these doors. They're so amazing. Oh, this pleases me ice machine. I haven't had one of those in a very long time. But I like them. I really do like a breakfast bar. Wish I had a place in London big enough for that. Anyway, we are now moving from one side of the house to the other. It is noticeably cooler in here. Where are the lights? Don't think that made a huge difference, but it has this little room with a foosball table, so I'm guessing kind of like a playroom, somewhere to chill for teenagers if you've been coming with teenagers been a long time since I was a teenager. And then you move into the main living room area with massive sofas. I get to pick a sofa and it just becomes mine for the week. That's how it works in our family. And I'll just be able to stretch out across it. 
but the beams again absolutely beautiful the size of the room absolutely beautiful i think that they've just done it really really well something i do really like though are these windows look at these again a sign of the fact that it used to be a barn like a working barn very small slit windows this place was built in 1709 so it's been heavily used since then as a working farm and then house just for people to live in now it is as i said somewhat used as a small holding with a few animals we've got a fireplace which my family loves probably won't need to use it hopefully won't need to use it i'm hoping that this heat wave from september will continue on all right I want to go upstairs but just let's appreciate this hallway one more time right like with all the glass and the wood beams oh, so happy all right now up some stairs that kind of freak me out i don't like stairs with holes in another feature definitely has to be pointed out how high the ceilings are all right here is already the master bedroom oh, but i'm not going to show it to you yet so first off we have this bedroom which is the twin room I feel out of breath. You can fit eight people sleeping in this barn conversion. There are only four of us, so we won't be using this room particularly. This is the bathroom. Wow. If you're into your just whites and basic colors, this is probably going to be a pleasant bathroom for you. It is amazing. It smells amazing. I don't know what they've got in here, but it smells absolutely beautiful. This bath scares me a little bit. I mean, it does have a shower head. Where is it? It does have this shower head, so I don't have to take baths every day, which is good because I don't do baths. I think this is on Airbnb. If this is on Airbnb, I'll leave a link, because if you ever wanted to come to Yorkshire, you could stay here. All right, we've got another room. I think it's safe to call this the yellow room. It's a nice room, sizable, uh, not too big. I think in this kind of place, you should be spending a lot of time socializing in the kitchen, in the living room, so you wouldn't spend that much time in your bedroom anyway, but it is a very beautiful room with a very beautiful view. Moving on to the bedroom at the end of the hallway, and this is the one that I have chosen to be my own, just because I wanted it, and I got here first. My sister is not here yet. It's a little bit darker than the other rooms, but I'm okay with that because when I sleep, I like it to be kind of fairly pitch black anyway. So I'm more than happy with this. It's a little bit bigger than that other room as well. And now walking through the hallway, wow, that's a creaky floorboard. Uh, we're going to see the main bedroom. The main event of this house, it basically is over one of the wings and is fantastic. Take a look at this. very much to me like almost a castle room probably because of the stone brick behind i hope it comes across on camera how big this room is because it is almost most of my flat if not all of my flat no probably most of my flat but i mean just check out this bathroom like feels like going into a shell how do you feel about showering in the same room i feel like that's okay if the toilet was also in here that would be a bit inappropriate perhaps but having a shower both myself and my sister have said we kind of want to have a go at this round <laughs> shower it's so bizarre so that is the tour of this house as i say if this is in fact on airbnb which i think it is i'll put a link to it in the description should you ever find yourself in yorkshire and that you want to stay here oh my goodness it's windy I hope that you have managed to enjoy this house tour. Apologies for it being a little rough around the edges, but again, it's been a while since I've made a video. I am trying to get back to doing some house tours, etc. In London, things are still just a little bit difficult. We'll, we'll still be trying to showcase that London life. <laughs> see what I did there. All right, I will see you soon. Check out more videos on that London life and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.